Alright, so I don't usually do one of these rant videos, but um, hi, I thought I'd do one today. And this one's kind of come about because of an experience that I've had kind of ongoing for the last two months. A lot of you know that I order a lot of stuff online, and a lot of it comes through Amazon and comes through eBay and things like that. And I hear a lot of people being like, you know what, you should try to buy some local stuff. I do, and I do a lot of local buying online. And when I say local, I mean based in the US or Canada. But that doesn't always go well. So here's my experience. So my wife and I last year, Black Friday, we both bought a pair of riding jeans, so Kevlar jeans. Now buying online, always a little bit iffy in regards to sizing, unless you get the opportunity to try them on somewhere else ahead of time. Now this story is in regards to a company um, that we were dealing with called Jaffram. And maybe a lot of you have bought from them before. I have. And I've bought from Jaffram for easily two, three, four years. And have never had a bad experience with them, actually, except for this one. Uh, I have always been very, very pleased with the experience. But this was the first time I've ever had to return anything. So here's the issue that I have. So we got the jeans, and my pair fit pretty good. Um, I ordered a size bigger because I was just a little concerned. Figured I could always wear a belt. Um, my wife bought her regular size, and they were they were too small. So we wanted to return them, or at least do an exchange. A couple of days after we got them, we got an email from Jaffram saying, you know, how did we do? And basically, we wanted to make sure that we made this the best buying experience possible for you. So I replied back and said that the sizing wasn't great and that we were looking at an exchange. This is when I found out about their policy. Now, their policy was is that they were going to charge me to have the new jeans shipped out. I would have to have the new jeans shipped to them. And they were going to charge me a $10 fee to actually do the exchange. So my $50 jeans were now going to cost me $80 for something that any other store anywhere would do for nothing. And I don't mind the shipping part. I get if I have to ship back and they have to reship. But to charge me $10 to process, or a processing fee as they call it, is just ridiculous. So. That's the big concern. Now, the other part of this was because of this, I ended up emailing back and forth explaining how much I didn't like this, explaining how this policy was ridiculous, especially for an online company that is dealing almost entirely in clothing. Long story short, they ended up waiving this, which was good. But if I wouldn't have been that person that was willing to do a lot of the writing back and forth and complaining and trying to go up to management and all this kind of stuff, then this would never have happened. This is also a part of their policy that they don't really tell many people about. I tried to do a review for these two jeans, saying how much I liked them, how much the sizing was a bit off, and also talking about the policy in regards to an exchange and how you would have to pay this $10 which of course Jaffram rejected. Mm -hmm. So uncool. If you have a policy that you don't believe in, maybe you shouldn't have it. The other thing was, it took two months for this process to finally be done. Um, that's too long. Final thoughts. Will I buy from Jaffram again? Yeah, probably. Um, they're, they're a good store. They have a lot of products. Their prices are really good for the most part. I've always been happy with them, except for this last one. Will I buy a third party or one of Jaffram's own in-house brands? No. Um, because of this experience, definitely not. I'll make sure that anything that I order from them, I'll have the opportunity to try on at a store somewhere around here first to make sure the sizing is good. And then, of course, I'll look for the best price. But it also means that I'll probably end up just seeing if the store here will price match. My biggest concern is if I were to have a return anywhere with a physical store, there would be no question that the company would let me just bring it back and get another mo model, or another size, another version, or just to actually return it with no penalty. To make me pay to have an exchange 
just seems ridiculous this day and age where you're a company that deals so heavily with online. Which brings me to this next part, which is I'm going to start doing a few more reviews based on companies that I've had the experience with doing returns or exchanges or have had positive um, experience or had negative experience because I think you guys as viewers need to know this. Watch for those in the future. They're not always going to be rants about they, they were always bad. Um, definitely want to make sure that companies that do well get recognized for it. So that'll be coming up and uh, I'm going to leave you guys with that. So this is not all bad about, you know, Jaffram. Don't take it like that at all. This was in regards to that policy, which I don't believe in, um, and something that I think they should be looking into to make sure that they're competitive. And hopefully you'll see more of these. Am I going to buy again? Yeah, but they need to change that. All right, guys, we'll talk to you again later. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, do all the good stuff. And uh, ciao for now.